just when I thought pendulums couldn't get any crisper. I forgot that cameras exist. Pen deck, baby! Today's video, I'm gonna showcase how to deck yourself out on turn one with the best deck, Pendulum. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to smash the subscribe button, make sure to smash the like button, and make sure to stay tuned for the entire video. Then also make sure to go on TripGaming.com. Get your beautiful Celine playmats. We got the Servant playmats from my personal favorite, the I Am Endymion playmat. Get yours now, and let's get started on decking yourself out, turn one, with the best deck. Let's go. insane but before we get into it a few quick words from our sponsor the company sent me a energy su workout supplement a few months ago called peak mail and i wanted to try it out for a little bit see how it is and i gotta say you guys think i'm energetic normally this thing gives me serious energy throughout the day you don't even need coffee there's no stimulants in it despite that fact this gets you going for the day and if you guys have a feeling of lack of energy or lack of sleep Highly recommend get this if you think that a coffee will affect you negatively. Uh, there's no caffeine or stimulants in this, but it'll still get you with the energy boost ready for the day. And highly recommend it, guys. You get it in the description below. Peak mail will turn you into a peak mail. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. How is it even remotely possible to deck out on turn one with pendulums? Obviously, if you play the best deck, it's very easy. This is going to showcase the consistency and the draw power of pendulums and this is a huge reason why i say this is the best deck because it doesn't matter how bad your hand is you're gonna draw into a good hand and that's the beauty of this replay so for this replay i'm gonna deck myself out on turn one i'm facing off against Supper ygo and this is gonna be virtual world versus pendulums here i'm gonna go blue boy and souls this is why you need to play uh uh two blue boys in your deck by playing two blue boys in your deck you are able to search for Crowley in this scenario. And man, this is a thing of beauty. 26 cards, I'm gonna go down to zero, bro. Oh my God. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Down to 14 with Desires. I draw a lot here. Now I wanna showcase you guys something that's important for you guys to know. As you guys see here, I am putting both Servant and Abductor. They're both in the scales. Never start out like this. Clearly, if you look at my graveyard, okay, there's knowledge, mastery, desires, all the wonder wand, all these cards need to be ash blossomed. If my opponent had ash blossom, they were using it before. So you never want to have your servant of Endymion ever clogged with abductor. You never want that because if you do that, you won't be able to bring out the servant of Endymion and you're gonna have. Uh, equal scales and you can't pendulum stuff in anything so here i'm obviously gonna put the abductor then and there because i know he doesn't have ash i'm gonna bring an abductor instead of souls uh instead of jackal because uh i literally just don't care about nibiru right now whatsoever if he nibiru's me i don't literally don't care whatsoever and on top of that he would have nibiru'd me before i used servant effect he would have used the nibiru before i servant effect and it's up to, because he knows jackal's coming and it's a telltale sign he doesn't have nibiru so here in this scenario, I go up Doctor to search Souls, and uh, Souls, is, I did use Souls already this turn, so I'm going to have to be wary of that. So in this scenario, I'm going to link these off uh, for a, so I want to use Wonder Wand. You cannot use Wonder Wand just on a generic Pendulum Monster. This is why with the inclusion of Artemis in the, in the extra deck, you can now link off any Pendulum Monster for Artemis, the Majestus Moon Maiden, and Wonder Wand will now trigger. So as you see here, Wonder Wand's insane. Wonder Wand literally gives me a free draw too. This is a free Allure of Darkness. It's insane. But instead of for a, 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 for a dark, it's for a pendulum. And every single pendulum goes into Artemis. So because of that, it's just ridiculous. Even Chronograph. Chronograph can go into Time Gazer. And then you just send the Time Gazer to draw two. Because of Artemis. You link it to Artemis first. Hence making Wonder Wand ridiculously good. So this scenario, you can clearly tell, I can deck myself out easily. I'm going to allure here to get rid of the Magician Souls, because I already use it this turn. I'm going to get rid of the Chronograph, I'm like, whatever, it's all good, I'll just... 
I don't even care. I'll just save it for next turn. If there is a next turn, I'm gonna go abductor. I have no targets out of the abductor. This duel's insane. I have like eight cards in my hand and on the field, uh, seven cards and then two on field. No pendulum cards left in my deck. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pendulum summon and I'm gonna pendulum summon through uh, all of these monsters. I should have banished the souls so I could also special a chronograph. And in this scenario, I deck myself out. All I do, I just go into Sayuja. You go into Sayuja, draw four cards. I'm not able to draw the fourth. So by that ruling, I will lose automatically. So it's pretty hilarious that I'm not even playing any gimmicky cards. Just by sheer draw power alone, I deck myself out with Pendulum. Seeing as how I am playing on Raiden, I don't want to do that. Seeing as how I don't want to auto lose. I play this game to win. I play this game to win, baby. Not for no other reason. So I don't start usually here. But if you want to deck yourself out just for shits and gigs, you start usually deck yourself out with the draw power at Pendulum. But instead, I'm just going to put up a bunch of negates and auto win. Easy game, baby. Easy game. That's it. Go into Celine. Put up four negates. Desires did banish a lot of uh, cards. So we couldn't get up too many negates. And I wanted to save a bit of a follow-up. If I saved the Chronograph instead of the Souls, I would add an extra, extra Mascarena. And there's game one. Easily. De deck myself out like that. Uh, but I obviously just didn't because I didn't want to lose. I wanted to kill him. But I could have if I wanted to. So I go Desires to draw two. Uh, he's playing Virtual World. I, I don't care about this deck. This deck is so easy to defeat. You're playing the best deck. And just look at my hand, bro. I have a thousand draw cards here. So I don't even care. Like, I got Desires. Upstart, Wonder One, Mastery. So he's going to go ahead here and put out a Crystal Wing uh, to protect himself from Nibiru. He also has Chuchi out. So we'll see how many interruptions he can get here. He has a cool play here with Muddy Dragon. We'll see if he goes into it. Where he could also get a Dragoon out for free. He doesn't. He goes for Bamboozling Dragon. So here, or Bamboozling Shadow. So I'm going to have to deal with a Crystal Wing, which is a monster negate. I'm going to have to deal with a Chuchi, which gets rid of a monster, or a Scale. So that's two interruptions, big interruptions. I'm going to have to deal with the Shen Shen, which is like a thousand interruptions versus Pendulums. I, all my Pendulums get banished. And I deal with the Bamboozling Shadow. So let's see if the best that could deal with this. Spoiler alert. No fucking shit. Ha ha ha. It's the best deck, boys. Here, I bring, out, I bring out Time Gazer ASAP. Chrono does get banished. I bring out Time Gazer to protect my Servant of Demon from Chuche. Because Time Gazer, whenever, it gets whenever a scale gets destroyed, the first one, Time Gazer protects it. And it doesn't activate, so you can't negate it with anything. This is a great way to bait anyone. Uh, Time Gazer has been around for a long time, but it's an old card. A lot of people forget the ruling of Back on Pendulum was in its heyday. So here, you go to use Chuche to pop my Servant. I'm like, uh, no, you can't do that because I'm going to protect with Time Gazer. I'm going to protect. It doesn't activate, so you cannot use Crystal Wing to negate it. And there's nothing you can do. My Servant survives. And then I Servant bring out Jackal. Now, in this scenario, I know he has Crystal Wing. I know he has Shen Shen. I have to be very careful. Mighty Master could destroy everything. So I'm being very careful here. I don't want to play into anything. I don't want to lose because this game is mine. This game is mine for the taking. I go Mighty Master to blow everything up. In this scenario, I probably should have used Mighty Master to pop Servant, put it back in my scale. This was a misplay on my end. I, but I did want to pop all of his interruptions. I only had a limited amount of cards to pop. I didn't know what the set was, and I had to get rid of it ASAP. So I used my three pops by Mighty Master Effect to get rid of Crystal Wing, Shen Shen, and this unknown set. So that's fine. I needed one more to get rid of that, but that's okay. So here, I'm going to go into Souls. I'm going to use Souls Effect here. To draw souls is dead through Shen Shen. I get a dead desire. I wonder one for two. And those are the worst fucking card draws of life. Desires, secrets, and blue boy. Like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? I just needed one card, bro. I just needed one extender, one low scale, and that's it. Uh, in this scenario, I could have also gone Daybreaker to pop my servant of Endymion. Maybe this was the better play, but what I probably should have done was just enter battle phase right away. I didn't want to over... Like, I didn't want to... I thought I could kill him. I thought I could OTK. Maybe I should have tried to OTK. I enter battle phase now. And then just got Daybreaker. Daybreaker to pop my Servant of Endymion. That would have been the better play. Here, I'm going to do a lot of damage here. I won't be able to kill him. Next, I go into Daybreaker. And now I'm going to do the big brain play. So after I got rid of his entire field. And Daybreaker doesn't st isn't stopped by bamboozling. I'm going to use Daybreaker to pop my own Servant of Endymion. This is another gigantic plus of Artemis. It's mandatory. 
I use its effect to pop the Servant of Endymion. Servant of Endymion goes back in the scale. I scale my chronograph. I bring the two into Selene. And then with the Selene, I, uh, I just pendulum three cards down. And then in this scenario, uh, so I just pendulum summon two. I, I don't summon the Time Gazer. I use Selene's effect to bring out a reflection of Endymion. And then in this scenario, I go Absolute Crossy Vortex. Bring out Selene. And there's just no way I lose. He gets the Nibiru. But not ironically enough, that Nibiru would have been dead. Because of my Jackal, that Nibiru was dead. I had the Jackal in the field, and I went into the Daybreaker play knowing that he had no other hand traps. I knew the card in his hand, but he, he did draw the Nibiru late, but it literally just wouldn't have fucking mattered at all. He goes Chuchi. Honestly, I just let him do everything. I let him play freely. I don't even care to negate anything. My deck is so good, I literally just don't care. I can negate one thing and his turn is over, but I just don't care. Pendulum is that good and I want a little bit of fun I want to give him a little bit of a chance so I can kill him on my turn I'll give him a little bit of hope so on my turn I could just freely kill him I don't want to just outright win we're playing for fun here so I want a little bit of a challenge here you know I want to like fucking use mighty master and negate my own desires bounce reflection one card left in deck pendulum summon some cool shit uh he right away he uses Celine to pop my uh Truche to pop my Celine to banish it I'm like sick that's really cool because now uh, I have to deal with the Shen Shen, and I have to clear through everything. This will be no problem. But uh, th this is also going to make it very interesting. So I Pendulum one Time Gazer. I Normal Summon Blue Boy, and then this is going to be game if you guys see it. I bring those three into into Unicorn to get rid of the one card that floats. Then I'm going to go Restage to bring back uh, any random monster. I can't use Soul's Effect because of Shen Shen. Then I'm just going to go into Axis Code. Axis Code is then going to pop them all and attack for game. So that was the video. I decked myself all turn one. Or duel number one. If I wanted to, I didn't say Yuja. Duel number two, I met 11 fucking cards in deck. And uh, we wiped the floor with this virtual player. So all I gotta say is pen motherfucking best deck, baby. And to showcase the deck list right now, the draw deck. Oh my god, I call it pen draw sauce. The draw sauce is what I call it. So I'm gonna show you guys the deck list right now. This is the deck list. Fucking beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful. I love organizing my cards like this because post side deck. You see every single thing perfectly. You know what to side out. All the draw cards are together. So you understand very well. How many draw cards is this? This is 8 starters, 4, 8, 12, 15, 18 draw cards. 18 fucking draw cards with Saryuja and extra deck. It's insane. Post side deck, you remove the Blue Boy engine for Denko and Amano against Tri Brigade. Drawing one of these six, you kill them against uh, any Drytron deck. Or player, Amano, Seer Mode, Dark Ruler, you have 8 against them. And then against any Trap deck, you put in Reboot, Double Cosmic, and Triple Denko. Uh, that's 6 cards that kills them. And with all this draw power, you always see them. And then against uh, any single deck going first, you always sign in Called By. That way you have Instant Fusion for Millenniumize to stop the draw and Lockbird, as well as Called By the Grave. I removed the third Wonder Wand in place of Instant Fusion. I don't like instant fusion because you have to waste an extra deck slot for a random one of spell card you're never going to search. But nonetheless, Droll is that fucking good against my deck that you just need it. And you know what? They're not going to fucking draw it, baby, because pen best deck. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just the best deck. Let me fucking tell you guys, all right? My face is covering the beautifulest card in the deck. That is Artemis. I'm going to put that at the very end for you guys. It's just the best deck. Play this deck, boys. I'm telling you. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Wait! Also get the beautiful Celine Playmats on TripGaming.com. See you guys then. Peace! <laughs>